Let's give our musicians a round of applause. quickly recognize, and I know we'll leave out some, but we have State Representative Ron Borock back there, uh, State Representative Philip Carver uh, from the Capsule Parish Police Jury, Your Tony Gillery, our Chief Deputy Sheriff, Steve Gillery, not elected yet, okay, <laughs> in plus. And uh, from the City Council of Lake Charles, we have our Councilman from this district, Mark Eggert, and Councilman Stuart Weatherford. And uh, are there any other elected officials? I'm sure there are, and I apologize if you've left them out. But um, this is a red occasion. We happen to have Dr. Darrell Raquel from uh, McNeese uh, with us, Dr. Raquel. We have a grand lobby uh, with us uh, out of the uh, ground ready for your new press box and all the facilities at uh, McNeese, and that's going well today. But it's my pleasure now to introduce a man who's done a great job in the recovery for Lake Charles, and he's uh, working for us every day. Let's welcome Lake Charles Mayor Nick Hunter. Mayor Hunter. Thank you, George. Uh, let's all in on a little secret. I have several rules as mayor that I really try to live by. Uh, and some of those rules have changed after Hurricane Laura. Uh, one of the rules is I will never complain about the weather unless it's a hurricane, flood, or uh, once in a generation ice storm freeze. The other is I always try to wear a suit and tie. And uh, I broke one of those rules today, uh, but I want to tell you it's a beautiful day outside, okay? So I really welcome everyone. This facility and this investment out here, I first want to talk about Imperial Point. Imperial Point has elevated the uh, medical experience and the quality of life for Lake Charles. And I'm going to say Lake Charles again because I truly mean the whole city. We have had the occasion of the last two or three weeks to welcome a lot of uh, investors from outside the area at an event uh, called Lake Charles Investors Day. On Tuesday of this week, Dr. Raquel and I were pitching Lake Charles to another interest that is uh, hopefully going to set up an office here in Lake Charles. And I want y'all to know that throughout my presentations to both of those groups, I highlighted heavily on Imperial Point because the aesthetics out here are beautiful, the experience is elevated, and the quality of the, the medical opportunity out here, medical options, is just stellar. And so I just want to say to Dr. Noble and his investment team, first of all, thank you for Imperial Point. It's awesome. Good job. And then here we are today in the villages of Imperial Point and moving a little bit more into the residential uh, realm for this investment is just wonderful. It's an amenity that we need here in Lake Charles, and I know it's going to take care of a lot of people to come. Uh, to again, again, the entire investment team, I want to say job well done. I am impressed. I think everyone I have met today here at this event has been impressed. And keep up the good work. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. I am a little disappointed, but I know you're a lot cooler than I am right now. So congratulations. Well, thanks. This is a momentous occasion. I need to introduce a few people. First, I want to introduce my family. My wife, who has allowed me to do all of this. Thank you. Oh. Uh, my in laws are here. Well, at least I see my mother in law. My father in law is behind the door over there. Uh, and then, of course, the, the team that put this together. So it started with the architect, Mark and Casey. Mark, raise your hand over there. So, Mark and Casey, the architect, and, and, uh, everything you see. That can be attributed to Mark, the, the style of the architecture, the colors, the textures, and even the interior design had a lot to do with that. So uh, thanks, Mark, for delivering just an absolutely beautiful building. 
And then hand construction. Uh, I see Adam over there, Mark Ferguson's over there. I don't know if anybody else. Oh, and there's Gordon. How you doing, Gordon? So thanks, guys. I really appreciate the work. And then my team, I know I saw Bobby Hamlin earlier. There's Bobby and and Maurice over there. Hey, Marie. So that's part of the Noble Development team. And then uh, Christy Armand, who is our external marketing person. Uh, Christy and I go way, way back, and she takes good care of me on the marketing front. And then, of course, my good friends from McNeese. I just saw the superstar athletic director walk through the door, Heath Stroyer. Heath, how you doing, buddy? And then, of course, Dr. Raquel again. Uh, thank you for being here, Dr. Raquel. So, uh, to give you a little background, most of you know about Imperial Point, and I'm going to be as brief as I can. But as uh, the mayor was talking about, the first 20 acres we developed, we call that phase one. Most of all, that was medical. Everything that we talk about phase two, from here all the way to the next neighborhood is going to be residential. So this is an independent living facility. This means that you live on your own, and it's a 365-day it's resort is what it is. And so once you decide to move in here, by the way, we've lowered the age limit to 55, so 55 and older. And then next to this building will be assisted living facility near me care. We're actively developing as we speak. Next to that will be what we call an active adult neighborhood, which will be single family homes, so be cottages and estate homes and those things, but about 72 homes there. And then across the street will be hotels, a multifamily apartment complex, and retail. So we'll have some offices and restaurants, et cetera. So if you live in the active adult neighborhood, you'll be able to get your golf cart, be able to drive and, and have dinner, et cetera. We'll also have some coffee shops, and some of you may have seen on social media recently that the Toasted Goat Cafe announced that they'll be coming and we'll be building a building for them uh, very soon. And then the YMCA, uh, I just got a letter of intent from the YMCA, we'll be working on the space programming on that uh, very soon. So we'll have other medical amenities associated with it. So, that was a mouthful. <laughs> and so we, as, and I do have, I see at least one of my partners here, Dr. Morton's hiding over there in the corner. Craig, raise your hand. Are there any other investors? I, I, I saw Rick Sanders, Rick and Sheila earlier, and I don't, I didn't see any other investors that are here just yet. Most of them are still working to have to pay for this place. <laughs> they haven't finished their clinic yet. And then Joey Rocca, my superstar IT guy over there. Thanks, Joey. I think Joey did uh, all of the, finished up all the IT work. And um, so we build the building, but then we have to have people manage it. And so the, the entity that we have chosen to manage our facility is Frontier Management, owned by Greg Roderick, and Greg has a wonderful team who put this on the day, so I'm going to introduce Greg and allow him to address you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for welcoming us and thank you, Dr. Noel, for having us. Just 
So did you know that the amount of experience that Greg and his company has, they manage 130 facilities today. There, he has about another 15 that are currently in development, including some of ours. And so we're very excited to have this relationship. Uh, one other important thing I, I failed to mention, and that is we can't do this without financing. And so uh, we have to look to our bankers and, and uh, Raul Patil happens to be here, who uh, first guaranteed bank and they've done a fantastic job in helping us uh, finance this and, and get this off the ground and get it built. So without further ado, I think it's time to go to a ribbon cutting, eh? Let's do it.